I'm Josh with Henricus Historical Park, and I'm back again with an activity for Henricus's young historians. But I think the adults are going to like this one too. So this week on social media, we're looking at food in the 1600s, and today I'm going to show you a nice, simple, no-bake fruit tart recipe. So something you can make really simple in your home, doesn't require any cooking at all, and fruit tarts date back to at least the 1400s, so kind of an old-fashioned dessert. So what I have in front of me are the different ingredients that you're going to need to make this. So all you're going to need are some graham crackers, you're going to need some butter, uh, you're going to need some toppings for the fruit tarts. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take the graham crackers, and what I have here are four different graham crackers inside a plastic bag. I'm just going to take these and crush them up so they're nice and compact. Once you've broken them up a little bit, what you want to do, just let a little air out of there so that bag doesn't explode. And then you want to crush them up even further, kind of a fine powder. And you want to use a rolling pin for that, but if you don't have a rolling pin, you can just use a nice glass like this. So all I'm going to do is take this and crush all of these up into a nice powder. So now I have my nice powdered graham crackers, and now I can add some seasoning to it. So you could use some sugar or brown sugar. In this case, I have just a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm going to dump this cinnamon in there for flavor, and then I'm going to seal it back up, give it a good shake to mix that cinnamon in, and now my graham crackers are ready. So I also have liquid butter. This butter I melted in the microwave just before this. And you want to use about three tablespoons of butter for every four graham crackers. Uh, and if you don't have any butter in your house, on Tuesday on social media, we showed you how you can make your own butter. So feel free to check that out and you can use your own homemade butter for this. I'm going to take these graham crackers then, dump them in this liquid butter. And now I just want to take this and mix it all together. And what you want to get is a nice consistency that is sort of like packing sand when you go to the beach, like the stuff that you can use to make sand castles. So something that you can use to actually just kind of press this all together and make it stick. All right, so once we have that nice consistency, you can see it's kind of like sticking to the side of the bowl like that. All right, once we have that consistency ready to go, all you need to do is grab a tin, and in this case, I have a muffin tin that I've already made a couple of these in. So you're just going to take this stuff and scoop it right in the muffin tin and press it down and make those little tart shapes. And then you're going to take this and put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. That butter is going to solidify and help hold them together. And after an hour, when you take those out, you can remove the tarts and you're left with a small little tart shell that looks just like that. And then you can take your toppings and put whatever you want in there. So in this case, I'm going to use some whipped cream but you could also use some ice cream or yogurt, uh, whatever you basically feel like doing. Put it right on top there. And then you're gonna take your other toppings. In this case, I have a big bowl of strawberries. I'm gonna put those right on the top too. You could also use coconut or chocolate chips, blueberries, any kind of fruit you want. And now we have this delicious summertime tart that is easy to make and that is gonna be very tasty. So thank you very much for visiting us here at Henrikus Historical Park and enjoy.